Hey guys, I got a new book for you today. This one's called Truly Bizarre, and it is by DJ Wild. That's W-I-L-D-E. Let's show you the cover. I love the cover. Look at the butterfly inside the wings. I don't know if you can see it very good. It's got like castles and stuff. It kind of looks like a um, stained glass effect. I think that is really neat. And then you flip it to the back. Um, DJ also has written some books, and they're on these are on Amazon, and these books are on thegamecrafter.com. I'll post a link to those down at the bottom um, at the end of the, the video. So this page is about DJ and how he gets started and about the book. But I love how he writes, inside you'll find 40 crazy images for you to decipher and color at your leisure. Yeah, some of these pages you are going to have to try to decipher because I found things on the pages and my daughter found different things on the pages and it, it was, they're all over the place and that's, I love that kind of stuff. So, if you like Bizarre, you will like this book. This, the one I colored is called Tollgate. These are all the names of the books right here. I'm not books, I'm sorry. These are all the names of the pages. Um which some of the names are are really funny. The first one's called Air Sharks. That just cracks me up. Let me go um, get a little closer so you guys can see. These are Air Sharks. I think my daughter was calling them Sharknados or something like that. Um, see, I'm not going to read all the names of them, but they had some really funny ones. This one is Aneurysm. You see all the eyeballs and the brain? Isn't that neat? All these mouths over here. I love bizarre stuff like this. All hand drawn, single sided. It is. Where's my ruler? It's a smaller coloring book. It's about. Backwards, Leslie. About eight and a half. By eight and a half. Give or take. <clears throat> that one's kind of hard to see on camera. Lots of details, lots to color. Oh, I'm about to drop my coffee cup. I love it. And then we got the planet exploding over here. That would be really cool. All of them are exploding. That looks like Earth. A lot of space themes in this, too, for sure. I think this would come out really neat, showing the explosion, if you can color that. Let's see what this one's called. I know I'm going to keep flipping back and forth, driving y'all crazy. Birth of the Comets and then Bronto. Butterflying. That's like from the cover. I really like that. That's so pretty. I love this one too. Did I skip a page? The pages are nice, y'all. It's not like, it's not as thin as Create Space Paper. It, it is a little thicker and it's got some nice tooth on it. I love this. Dragon's got like a castle in its mouth already. It's just which is stuff you find all over. There's like an eyeball over here, a random flying pirate ship. <laughs> they got these onks all over. Eyeball here. I'm not sure what that is on the tongue. Might be a horse or people. I'm not sure. And they got all these mushrooms and then the claws. Even the claws are decorated. I like this page. This ghoul or whatever it's called is just dripping. He is melting. Let's see what he's called. Castle mouth. That was that dragon. This is, has to be Death's Head. Ooh. Creepy. This one's called Death Head, I think. Death's Head. 
Dragon is like attacking this castle. And then we got like a wizard down here. Very neat. And then we got a two headed unicorn, otherwise known as a duocorn. <laughs> I love this. I'm so going to color this one. The planet with the eyeballs is islands, of course. Of course, this is called Islands. <laughs> I love that. It's all, get it? Islands, eyeballs, get it? Y'all, I'm just in a mood today. Yesterday was horrible at work, so this is really a nice treat for me. Let's see what this one's called. Fire Rose. Fire Rose. Nice. It's got wings. And the rose is on fire. This one is gear shift. Gear shift. This is just a trip, man. And we got Dino Kitty. <laughs> This is one of my favorite pages. I don't know, y'all. It's just me because I'm strange and I like strange things. But this is freaking awesome. I, I, I don't know. And then they got like the MTV guy down here. Oh, I love this. This is a random campfire. This is amazing. I love it. This kitten. And <laughs> Come on, y'all. That is amazing. We got all kinds of magic stuff going on in this. We got the hand, um, little boxes from the magician show, random dinosaur. Love it. Very, very neat. What's this one called? Magic show. Merlin's view. Oh, Merlin's view. This must be Merlin up here. Earlier I was calling him Zeus. But Merlin makes sense. He's got the sword going down here. I wonder if that's Excalibur. That would be cool. I like the mouth one. Mouth pieces. <laughs> mouth pieces. I like it. This mouth's got space inside of it. That one's got an eyeball. Another ghoul with another mouth. <laughs> this one is Patchwork Castle. Patchwork Castle. Oh, I like this one too. I like the creepy little guy. A pirate ship. You see him a lot in the uh, pictures. And these planets are still. This one's exploding. This one's melting. There's that pirate ship again. And this one's got a mouth. This planet has a mouth and teeth. That is a trip. I like the room. What's the room called? Room service, I think. If I'm on the right one, room service. Can you imagine sitting here, your bed's right here, and you're looking up at all this? That would be so cool. We got this armadillo here. Must be room service. The duck and the tux. The duck and the tux. The duck and the tux. That's just fun to say. I love it. Got the turtle. And of course, he's got a castle on his back. Why not? Got a scorpion down here. This looks like a door to another universe. Some dolphins. See the octopus, and he's um, hanging out on top of the um, sunken boat.
this ninja guy over here, he's shooting this love note over here to the dragon, which is very cool. I like the ninja. The snail. I love this snail. I thought at first it was a rose, and I was like, that's not a rose. It's a freaking snail. More planets, and then, then there's that ship. Castle in the sand. The whales in space. <laughs> Star whales. The pyramids. This is going to be pretty when colored in. I really like that one. So we got this sword going through a sand castle, it looks like. This hand, that I think it's called Screaming Hand. The lightning coming down. I love the screaming hand. My daughter already said she wants to color this one, but I don't know. She'll have to fight me for it. It'll be a perfect one to color for Halloween season coming up. I love the creepy Halloween season, y'all. I love the skull with the um, candle on it melting. This one is awesome. This is the one I almost colored first. All the clocks and the numbers and the time. This is the one I started. Because I just love him. I love the ghoul. I want to do some more blood drippies down here. And I haven't made up my mind yet if this is outdoors. Because this to me kind of looks like a cave. Like he's inside of a cave. I don't know why. I think it's because of the way the clouds look different here than, than these lines. So I'm thinking that he's in a cave. And you got to pay the toll to get out the cave. And this is my little pirate ship out here. But I could be totally wrong. He could be on the beach chilling for all I know. I don't know. The toll gate. I put some stickles on there. Why? On a ghoulie page? Why not? It can be pretty too. Why not? I like it. Um, I use Prismas for him. And I use Copics for the beach. And Copics for the boat and the sign. And then everything else is either Stickles or Prismas. So I'm going to finish this one today. And my finished pictures are on, posted on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll, there's a link to those down in my um, in in the comment section. And yeah, always protect your work because the Copics and markers do go through. And I, this was my bad because when I put my folder in to keep this protected, I accidentally, this is me, I skipped a page and I put it on this page so it did leak through right here but that is okay because it's so light I can go right over that with other markers or other pencils I'm just happy it wasn't the whole page this doll head is a trip I love old vintagey things like that I think I had almost every one of these toys me or my brothers, one of us, had these toys. Look at this mean ass looking cat hanging on the window. This is a great page right here. I don't like this monkey. Monkeys scare me. And these monkeys with the little symbols that do that. Oh no. Mm -mm. And I don't like clowns. Scary. Great picture. This is neat. This one's called Two Dragons, I think. Yeah. That's Toy Room, Two Dragons, and then Vintage Ads. This is Vintage Ads. I've seen her. This pokes out at me the most, and I cannot think of where I've seen this little girl. I can see it in my head, the real picture of this, but I do not know where it came from. I have no clue. And this one, too. Um, that's an oldie, though. Oh, it's before my time. I can't think of his name, but I like this. I like the I like the random jumbleness of pages like this. Does that make sense? Random jumbleness. 
check it out, check it out. If you know the names of any of these, let me know. Put down at the bottom. Oh, this one is neat too. Let's see what it's called. Violence. This one is violence. It is pretty violent. The tornado over here. Oh, we got submarines in the air attacking, of course. Got this castle up here. This is exploding lightning. It's just craziness. But it will be very nice colored in. Um, worlds in a box. Worlds in a box. I like this. Like the eyeball coming out through the ceiling. I like the clock. Very, very neat and strange all wrapped into one. It says DJ is not just an artist, but an author of fiction and nonfiction. He's also designed board games. Be sure to check out his other works at his Amazon authors page. Yeah, check it out. He's got some really cool things. Take a look at the back again. Marshmallow fight. I love it. Galaxy Zento. And then this is the cover. Go down a little bit. The colors on these covers are amazing. I love this. Really, really nice um, publishing on this book. It's really nice. I can go back a little bit. So, yeah, Truly Bizarre by DJ Wild. If you have any questions or comments about it, please let me know, guys, down at the bottom, and I will be glad to get back in touch with you. Um, if you like the bizarre and the unusual, check this book out. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you haven't hit that sub, please do, and right next to it, hit the bell so you can see all my videos. You won't miss anything. And um, if you ha haven't hit that like, please do. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.